economy looks pretty decent here. It seems to be outputting decent. I mean, all things considered decent. What was that? Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, I gotta get out of here. Gosh darn combine drivers anyway. Always in the way. Are you enjoying your air-conditioned castle? It's nice. I'm still trying to decide whether or not I would have stopped for you. So this is what we call a combine monkey. Yes, I am the combine monkey. I basically do what I'm told and I, I, I know how to run the combine. Can I drive? Request rejected. Here in Montana, we only get about 16 inches of rain in a year. So that's significantly less than a lot of the Midwest, meaning that we have a lot of limitations when it comes to growing crops. So due to that limited moisture here in Montana, we do this thing called fallowing. And that's basically when you take a field and you purposely do not grow anything in it. So why do you do that? If you're not growing stuff in your field, you're losing money, right? Yeah, but the point of not growing anything in the field is so that it can gather moisture over the year it's not being used and it will store that moisture for next year's crop. So in theory, the crop you grow after that will be utilizing two years of moisture instead of one, allowing our yields to be much higher. Now, good proof of why we fallow here is Right now, I am cutting recrop wheat. And if we go to our averages right here, you can see I'm averaging about 47 bushel an acre in this field. If I go ahead and go to a recrop field, meaning that the field wasn't summer fallowed, we could expect on this year to see about a 20 bushel reduction in our yield. AKA, we'd only get about 27 bushels to the acre on recrop this year. Now, it doesn't always work like that. There's some years in which we get plenty of moisture during the summer, and your recrop and your fallow wheat will end up yielding the same. But on a dry year like this, it pays to have fallow acres. Here it's getting to be about 10.30 and we're still cutting away. And that's the last load of the night right there. Well, that's it for the night. We've got 500 acres for the season logged on to our display and with that we're gonna shut down Ooh, dark good night everybody okay so we are just pulling back in the field here you see all the equipment is stationary that's because we are done with this field and now we're gonna move it all to the brakes so a little convoy action for what 10 miles and then we'll be along the edge again we're gonna take the firefighting patrol unit miles an hour 
This morning's load is going to the elevator down in the Judith Basin, so we better get going. It's about a 70 mile hike. Back from the elevator, we got our ticket here. So this is a ticket that's printed off every time we go there that has some pretty critical information on it. So if you look at this, we have basically who the customer is and what account it's being applied to, uh, the weights of the truck. So you have a gross weight on here and then a tear weight. A tear weight is basically the weight of the truck itself without the grain on it which gives you a net weight, and that's the weight of the grain itself that they took. Calculate that, and it tells you how many bushels were on the truck. It also gives you a protein, so in this case, the protein was 11.3. Moisture was 8%, which is uh, pretty low, but that's in a good term. You don't really wanna take anything with a moisture over, say, 13 to the elevator, 
because that starts causing some problems. And the test weight was 62.5 on this particular load. All right, so we're gonna be playing a little bit of a prank with Farmer Matt here. You know, he's kind of the guru when it comes to all the precision ag platforms, just loves that stuff, is very obsessed with yield mapping and data management in the combine, which all for good reason, that's the direction ag's going. But dad found this old AccuYield monitor something whatever from the 90s it's archaic technology compared to today's combine monitoring anyway we found an old unit in the shop here and dad got on the radio and said hey matthew riley got another one of those channel sponsorship whatever things and it's like this accu yield system for the combine you know they sent it in a box came in the mail and they're, we're gonna test it out. Matthew's getting all excited. He is totally falling for this thing. So he boxed all this stuff up and made it look like, you know, kind of made it look like it was shipped from a company. And we're gonna unbox it here at supper tonight. So yeah, it's just a startup out of Great Falls. It's not gonna be anything spectacular, but that's what I figured. Let's see, let's see what they got in it. It looks used and old. Yeah. It's got a, what is that even? Like an 80s vintage Massey on the cover? You should, you should see their website. This whole. You guys are pulling my leg, aren't you? You guys are pulling my leg. Oh, it's, it's even got the little Christmas tree. Yep. See, Far Farmer's Edge didn't give me a Christmas tree. Yep. That's a pretty cool little box though, isn't it? You wanna know what my favorite feature is? What? This is the switch that you turn on when you to get into your acres. acres. And then you gotta flip it off when you get in your headland. No, you just leave it on. You don't but then the yield's wrong. And then this is how we actually calculate the yield. That's your That's load little, sensor. It's a little flappy thing on the end what of the, the auger tube. So you install that on the end of an auger tube. And then when you dump the combine, it just pushes this flat. So it goes like this. Uh, something like and that. And it pushes. Yep, yep. That's how you sense it. Oh my it. goodness. This is where we log our yield information and do our calculations. Oh, oh. And you took the time. Oh, I almost made a custom shipping label for it, but resorted to just taping over the old box label, not even all the way. Like, that's how little effort I put in. The shipping label is for mom. <laughs> and then I just wrote in Sharpie on the box what it was, and you still fell for it for a little bit. I... <laughs> you were hook, hook, line, and sinker. I'm sitting in there in the combine going... <laughs> 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 and the thing is, I forgot that I even kept all that stuff. It's a little bit of a peaceful rain here. I haven't seen this stuff in a little while. Don't know if it's going to really annoy too much though. Just enough to shut harvest down. But. I'm not gonna complain, it is rain. <laughs> 